Hey everyone, April 23rd and it's spitting snow. So here in Vermont, we're not out of winter yet, but the ground is soft, I'm going digging. Uh, I just wanted to take time to say that um, the other day I was in this field digging and uh, some people came by and they walked out and they started talking to me and they wanted to know you know, if I was finding anything or, any, or not. And uh, they uh, live right on the other side of that stone wall right there behind me. And they said, come on over and dig any time. Uh, our property, we don't mind. So I'm going to go over there today. It used to be uh, an old ball field. And back in the early 1800s, it's actually at an intersection uh, in a farm community. So who knows what I'll find in the ground. But this will be video number 54 I'm starting. So I'm going to take off. Wish me luck. OK, guys, 10 minutes here. Look down in the hole. What does that look like? Looks like a large scent to me, but I'm not sure. I haven't got it yet. Oh, baby, what is this? Holy crap, it looks like a drape bust in nice shape. This is my new permission, and I just got started. It's 18.03, I think. Let me clean it off. Super freaking excited. Just got here. All right. It was down about uh, 7, 8 inches, and it was running... 77 to 80 on the uh, AT Pro. Okay, guys. This is looking serious right there. Check it out. I'm going to pull it out, see what we got. You ready? Don't know yet. Don't know what I got here. Let me, uh, it's pretty thin. Let me rub it off. Let me, uh, let it dry out a little bit. Definitely a coin, I think, something. Yeah, let me clean it up. I don't know what I've got here. Okay, be right back. Okay, guys, got an old colonial copper here. You can see the woman sitting up with her hand out to the left. And I think the bust is facing left, but I'm not sure. This is a tough one. I'm going to try to clean this up, but uh, i got to be careful. But I know it's an old colonial copper, so that's copper number two for today. I had a solid 81. I flipped the plug, scratched down a little bit, and I see silver, and it looks like it's an oldie. So I'm going to pull it out and see what we got. And I'm going to look at it through the, that looks promising. And it's going to be a Barber 1899. Damn, I'm going to take that. I know, don't rub it. Okay, that's a good start for the day. Beautiful. All right, I'm pleased with that. I'm here hunting this side yard. It's all grass, but it used to be a uh, meadow. Happy with that one. Okay, any mint mark? Let me see. I don't really know how to... 
Nope, no mint mark. All right, gonna keep going. Okay, don't know. Let's see what we got. Odd. Almost looks, almost has a copper color to it. Don't know what that is. Earrings? Hooked together like that? I don't know. All right. If they turn out to be anything worthwhile, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Okay, here's a relic that I don't recognize. Anybody have any idea? What this thing is? Whoa. No freaking clue. It looks like it might be an old lighter or something, but I have no idea. Oh, well, there's one for the books. Isn't that interesting? Okay, I'll have to look that one up. I'll get back to you. It's a relic. Okay, guys, uh, looks like it's button time. I don't know how old this is. Looks kind of old, but you know what's interesting? I'm behind this house and there's a depression right here. And it looks like it was an old garden. But I didn't think it was that old. And I just got this signal here. And that looks like an old gold gilted button. With the shank still on there. So let's see what we're going to end up getting. Nice flat button. Looky here, it's turning out to be a nice old relic. Wow. I will definitely take that. We clean it up just a little bit. It's got a lot of the gold gilt on the back. Shank and tack, and it looks like a flat button. So I might have, this might be an interesting little spot. I might hang out in this garden, see what comes up. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not going to brush it anymore, but it says double gilt on it. So, it has a few stars. Nice little flat button. Okay, I'll take it. Moving on. Well, this is the first time I've seen this. I pulled the plug up here. And the spoon is standing at attention. Straight up. So, oh, I see it's bent. Oh, she's a nice one. Okay. And I'll get a back mark off, and I'll uh, put it, post it. Cool. All right, I like that. Another spoon. Hello there. What have we got right here? Holy crap, what is this? I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to clean it up. Try to figure out what I got here. All right, I'll let you know. Oh, 
Okay, guys, I'm right behind this uh, stone uh, blacksmith shop. And probably about six, eight inches down, I got this thing. And I haven't figured out what it is yet. It looks like it might have been maybe something that hung on your neck or something. But I'm going to have to clean it up and read it a little bit better. And I'll let you know once I do that. I can't make out what this thing is right here in the field. But it looks very interesting. Don't know if it's old or not. So I'll let you know when I find out later on. Okay. Okay, I see silver. What is it going to be? It looks like it's going to be either a barber. Or, please be a seated. I don't have a seated yet. It's a seated! Whoa! My first seated! Oh my god! Look at that baby girl! I can't even talk! Oh no! Wait, I can't breathe. Oh my god! It's my first seated coin! Yo! Ah! Let me clean it up. I don't have a date yet. I'll be right back. Okay, 1910 wheat. I'll take it. Close to an Indian. Five million dollars. Jeez, I think I just hit the jackpot. All right. I'll see if it's uh, redeemable. If not, it's pretty. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, I got an awesome signal here. dug it up here, but I gotta see what the heck this is because it doesn't sound like there's any iron down in there. So, let's see how deep she might be. Okay, sounds like it's right here. What the heck is that? Is that it? Right in that wall or someplace. Ooh, what's that? Oh my God. You know what that's gonna be? Watch this. A freaking silver dollar. Holy crap holy. My friend, my neighbor, told me that one of his friends lost a silver dollar somewhere in these fields. And I think I just found the son of a gun. Wow, this is a first for me. I think it's a 1921 or 24. Holy sh... You have got to be kidding. I was in the house and I said, I got to go back out because it's still light out. Holy crap. Yoo-hoo-hoo. I'll get some shots for you. I found that freaking silver dollar. If it's the same one.
Okay, here's where I am in the field. I just found that silver dollar, and I think I might have just uncovered a musket ball. I, there it is right there. Oh man, look at that one. I guess so. That's a beauty too. Wasn't expecting that. All right. This has been a good evening. Went home and had supper and then I came back out. Two good finds. All right. I'm out here in this uh this field. And uh I found the uh silver dollar right over in the center there. About 100 yards away almost. And now I pop out a musket ball. All right.